Hi there. So this is a uh, memory tool that I've used in the past to memorize the cranial nerve modalities. Um, I learned this from a TA in the past that uh, really helped me out for, uh, during exams. Uh, so as we know, there are 12 cranial nerves. And of those cranial nerves, um, we can kind of roughly divide them into sensory motor or uh, cranial nerves that contain both sensory and motor. A common mnemonic for that is some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matter most, right? So I can write those in here. Some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matter most, right? So some of these fibers, uh, some of these uh, cranial nerves, such as uh, cranial nerve one and two are sensory only. Uh, versus three and four, which are nerves that goes to muscles of, uh, of uh, movement of the eye, um, are both motor. Versus uh, cranial nerve five, which is trigeminal, that we've learned contains both sensory and motor components. However, we can kind of uh, divide uh, the cranial nerves up even more specifically into uh, other categories that would give a little more information about what they do. Um, so. Uh, fibers that are considered afferent are fibers that are going uh, from the body and bringing information up to the brain, right? So these would be sensory. Uh, or efferent, these are fibers that are going from the brain going down to the body to kind of provide control. Um, and then you can also divide them into somatic, right? So this refers to kind of our body in general versus the visceral, which is our uh, guts and organs. And then these um, can be put into the categories of uh, general, uh, which goes to kind of our general body, or special, which are the ones that are going to uh, the pharyngeal arches or contain um, receptors uh, that are unique or special, such as the, the receptors in the eye and the nose um, and so on and so forth, right? So the way that this memory tool works is that uh, we have these seven, uh, seven uh, uh, modalities and we'll be filling in beneath them the cranial nerves that uh, belong under each, under each category. Um, so the first part of this mnemonic is to remember kind of this phrase. Save, fa, save, vase. Right, save, va, save, vase. So if you divide these into kind of uh, every two letters, uh, these are the tailing two letters of each of the categories. Uh, so I'm going to write these into uh, seven columns. So S A V E, save. V A V A, S A V E, save. And then V A S E, um, vase. Right? Uh, as I kind of alluded before, there are the general and special. There are a total of, of three specials and four generals. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put them in here. So we're going to put in our specials. Right. So those are three specials, and the latter are all generals. G, 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 and G. So what we end up is these are the seven modalities. Um, there are special somatic afferents, special visceral efferent, special visceral afferent, general uh, somatic afferent, general visceral efferent, general visceral afferent, and general somatic efferent. Okay. So now once we have these categories, uh, well, let's quickly talk about kind of what each of these do. Um, the SSA, uh, the special, uh, special somatic afferents, are the special senses, that kind of serve our body. I'm gonna put body in kind of quotations there. Uh, this includes our vision, our balance, and our hearing. All right, SVE, special visceral efferents, uh, are the ones, our fibers, efferent fibers that are, go to our pharyngeal arches. The special visceral efferents um, are the special senses that involved with uh, ingestion. Right? So this is our 
um, our smell, and our taste. Now the general somatic afferents, this is our touch, vibration, proprioception, pain, and temperature. Right. The general visceral efferent, uh, visceral, right, as we said before, it kind of goes to our guts and organs. Uh, these are the ones that are involved with the autonomic uh, nervous system. And because it's efferent, this is the uh, motor control down to our organs and viscera. Um, and then the general visceral afferents is the autonomic nervous system's um, kind of afferent fibers going up, providing information about um, that kind of thing. So like blood pressure and so on and so forth. Um, so sensory. All right, the last one is the general somatic efferent, and these are our motor. This is our general motor, kind of voluntary motor. Okay. All right. So the next part is kind of, um, of the memory tools is going to be filling out the cranial nerves below it. Now it's a little bit on the convoluted side. Um, I admit it takes a little while to kind of get used to and memorizing um, this pattern. But once you kind of get used to it, you can kind of fill out this chart relatively quickly. Right, so the first part we're going to do is memorize a phone number. So it's 251-5303. Right, uh, our, I found that it's pretty easy to remember these seven digit phone number kind of type stuff and it makes up our first row. So it's 251-5303. Okay, the next part is to add our sevens, nines, and tens to the center, right? So we have four sevens to put in, five nines to put in, and five tens, okay? All right, the next part is we're gonna kind of go down a couple of these um, these modalities and kind of fill in the remainder. The, the chart is almost done now. All right, so first we're gonna take a look at the SSA fibers, right? So that is our uh, special somatic afferents. Uh, I've mentioned before that this is our vision, balance, and hearing, right? So here's our vision um, with cranial nerve two. Um, and our balance and hearing is found in cranial nerve eight, vestibular cochlear. Um, so I'm gonna put there, eight. Right. Next is SVE fibers. That is our special visceral efferent. And these go with the pharyngeal arches. Uh, we have all but one now. The only one that is left, so I'm gonna put it this time. It's five, seven, nine, ten. And the last one is crown nerve eleven, the cranial portion. Right, so I'll put it right here, eleven C. Okay. Um, and then the last part to finish off this whole chart is our general somatic efferent fibers, GSE. And if you go back up to our original mnemonic here uh, with the motor and our sensory, um, all the motor components, so that's 3, 4, 6, uh, 11, and 12. 6, 11, and 12. 11 is the spinal component. Um, that actually forms up um, the, the remainder of the GSE. All right, so three, four, six, 11 spinal component, and 12. All right, and just to kind of go back and um, kind of reiterate something, um, the SVA, our special uh, visceral efferent, the ones that are involved with ingestion, um, this is our um, smell, right, uh, cranial nerve one olfactory, and then seven, nine, and 10 is involved in taste. Right, and this is it. Uh, this is a chart of all of the um, cranial nerves and with their modalities. Right, uh, before I go, there's a different way, um, a different uh, way of representing all of this information that was just there before, but kind of more in the chart form if you're more of a chart, chart kind of person. Um, but Really, uh, this is what really helps me during exams. I can kind of quickly crank out um, the, the lab chart and that was really helped me in the past. Um, I hope to share this with you guys and I hope it helps you guys too. Have a good one.